Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the CND Reveals Podcast, featuring Christian and David. Hey guys, welcome to the CND Reveals Podcast. I'm Christian, and today we're doing something a little bit different than our usual unboxing Yu-Gi-Oh! videos or all that. Today we'll be reviewing some game development software for all you software fans out there. I'm here with my partner David, who will also give some comments of the style of software and giving some of his thoughts on um, this topic. So let's kick off with my uh, first question. Even though you, I know you don't have um, that much knowledge, Dave, or experience in development or coding, I want to get your broad sense of opinion on game engines as a whole. What do you think a good game engine would consist of? Yeah, so as an average gamer, I believe that a good game engine consists of top of the end graphics and ability to implement the AI. I agree. I agree with you, though. You know that's what that's what we want every good game engine to be, but it's not. The sad thing is that's 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 really the sad thing there. Take for example Source Engine. You know the one that created Gary's Mod or Half Life. Um, so Source Engine doesn't have top of the line um, implementation for a high end graphics, but if the engine could work that way, it could make a pretty good game. Picture that, you know, Gmod or Half-Life in almost Unreal style graphics. Yeah, I totally see what you're saying. I wish the regular consumer could see what happens beyond the scenes. I think it would really change their minds in how game engineers develop. I mean, honestly, they would be amazed on how much effort a game developer, you know, and the engine put out. Not a lot of people see this because they only see the final product and they base their opinions on that. But this is where we will help you choose the perfect game engine if you if you guys decide you want to start creating a game. Be aware that this segment will be heavily opinionated, so feel free to state your opinions in the comments below on what you think. That's right folks, you heard it here. It's the Unreal vs Unity game engine fight, where we're going to break down pros and cons of each engine. Cool. So here's my question. What is the easiest engine to code on? Well, that's a good question. I mean, in my opinion, it would have to be Unreal Engine 4. That's because I've had experience with it. So, you know, I can, you know, use, for example, what Unreal has. So, C++ and Blueprint Script. Because I'm learning currently C++. And so, the nice thing about having C++ and Unreal Engine is the fact that, you know, you can use Visual Studio. It boots it right up. You know, it's easy to access and all that. And you can sort of code in, you know, your logic into the Visual Studio um, IDE. And then for for people that really don't have knowledge with C++, um, Unreal Engine runs off a, a visual scripting language called Blueprint. And it basically helps you understand on, you know, where the code is going, you know, what sort of logic you're putting into it, sort of you know the functionality and you can see it by attaching the different nodes using like a string method so that that's a pro for me next we will move into a few cons for unreal engine so as you enter the engine you're sort of blown back the reason why is because you know the engine runs off of epic startup um, launcher so this is called epic launcher in this platform it's sort of like steam you can run you know fortnite or you know hello neighbor modding you know software or whatever so it's almost like you start this thing up and you see just a heck ton of like tabs and you're like where do i go next like what's this do what's that do and you're sort of very curious which is nice but the one thing i find is that when you clicking on these certain tabs here and there they allow like they open the browser in a new tab rather than like you know steam having it open in in the launcher you know ready to see and ready to use so i find that's sort of a con because you know people coming in they they want to have the engine there accessible and i mean don't get me wrong it is but i feel that you know they need to organize it a little bit more and then another um issue with unreal engine here is the the loading times the loading times are brutal so you start you start in epic launcher you click launch engine right it launches, but the the launching button doesn't go gray saying the game engine is running. It then like goes back to yellow, so you could start up 50 instances of the game of the game engine, and you wouldn't even know. So then it takes you about maybe a minute or five minutes, depending on your specs, right? So then um, then after that, you get into the loading screen for your projects, 
you click on a project and next thing you know you're waiting another five minutes for it to load but I mean what can you do right there's there's really not much you can do at that point you just gotta sit and wait right then the last thing that I find um about unreal that sort of that sort of annoys me is the fact that there's source control the source control is a way for um, game developers to sort of you know come together check a project into github you know and that means putting the assets up on github and all that and then you know passing it back and forth updating it and all that you know and I find that when you click on this source control tab, it only has three things. Git beta version, perforce, and, subver and subvision. And the thing is, I don't know, it's just half of them are paid and the other are just underdeveloped. So I think sort of my feedback for Unreal and Epic here is to, you know, work on that source control because, you know, it, at this point, it's harsh for game developers to actually pass a project or a team. You know, if you're working on a game together or whatever, you, you won't be able to pass it back and forth as, as quick as you want it to. Unless you're using Gmail, which I use. Huh. That's really interesting. If there is a way to have the source control to ever I mean, update ever so often, developers have an easier time to work together instead of emailing it to each other. Which is what you do most of your time. Yeah. But but why have all the attention on Unreal? You know? Yeah. That Unity should have some type of attention. You're right, Dave. I think we should. Now let's move into some of that Unity, you know? Unity, I find, is a very diverse um, program. And it's used to create a lot of, um, you know, Apple um, iOS games and a lot of Google Play Store games. Usually, you know, a lot of people see it as sort of an engine that's crappy because, oh, look, it's a fake game on the iOS store, or Google Play Store. But but that's not the case. Um, you know, it's built many good games. Like, I have one on my phone currently, which is called Soul Knight, which is a 2D dungeon fighting game. So it's basically, if you think, like Binding Isaac, right? It's also one of my personal favorites. In the, like, un, you know... In the Unreal Engine, sure, the source control, you know, wasn't even useful. But in Unity, funny thing is, the the source control is up to date and it's way easier to use. So picture this, you know, you're, you're, you're creating this game, right? And you're like, man, you know, I need to pass the project over to my friend. Well, what you can actually do is um, implement the emails of your team members. And then it just checks it in and out for you easily rather than, you know command line typing for github and connecting this here and this there and you know put your email in right and then we'll do the all the work for you so and then another good pro is that the, deb the debugging functionality in unity is easy because you know you get to debug on the fly so picture this you know oh man i've coded this up you know i've coded this in whatever language and then um Man, I hope it all runs. Next thing you know, you see a bug in your code because, let's say, the ball's not rolling left and right on the X and Y axis, right? Then you're sort of like, oh, where's that? And you can see sort of when it happens in the engine. So that's sort of, you know, a pro for um, Unity here. Yeah. Yeah, that's it? Yeah. All right. That's, that's all. Right. all. But that that's so interesting to me. So most of the games I've ever played was from Unity. That's actually crazy. But how come I'm lagging sometimes when I play these those particular games? Well, that's an that's an interesting question. Well, i I'm, I'm I've never used the engine too too like thoroughly like I have with Unreal. So I sort of don't have you know any sort of answer to that question at that current moment. But, you know, what I, what I have read is that Unity has a hard time with updating memory quickly because of how many errors pop up and the bu debugging issues in the app. Unity's licensed developers need to have access to the best graphics and deployment and performance improvements. But getting those functionalities, you are basically paying more on the engine than you are on the games. Unity also has a stricter code, which is C Sharp. C Sharp is basically one up of C++. It's a little more stricter and all that, where C++ is a little more laid back. It lets you do, you know, a little more sort of object manipulation easier, right? 
kind of like Java. Java is super strict on object oriented, right? So either other than that, you know, I don't have that too much knowledge on um, the engine, but I would love to use it for a trial period to see, you know, what it's like. Huh. Well, it seems like Unity has an interesting advantage here. But then again, Unreal still has its fair share of beautiful games, especially the current Pokemon game I'm playing on a Switch, which was made with Unreal. Interesting. But, but in the end, but in the end, uh, out of hearing of what these engines consist of, which engine are you willing to work with after knowing these pros and cons? <laughs> that's that's honestly a tough question because um. You know, they're both such good and diverse engines, you know. They, they can do whatever you want them to do, but I honestly would, if I had to choose, it would have to be Unity. Only because, like, the source control is a lot easier to use than trying to set it up on your own. You know, like I said, trying to implement command line, trying to download something that's paid for, like, 30 bucks, and you gotta pay 30 bucks a month in order to get, you know... Have it, you know, have an email, you know, that's so easy. Connect using email inside the engine, not, you know, some external thing. And also because, you know, the 2D games are easy to build more than Unreal Engine could. Because Unreal Engine is more used for the 3D games, you know. Like, sure, you could make a 2D game in Unreal Engine, but it's going to be hard, right? But, uh, before we stop, David, any, you have any last words here? Sure, why not? Well... Thanks everyone for tuning in to our podcast. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more future content. Next video will be us revealing more cards, but thank you so much.